this with uh, Seth Dakota, Guild of the Silent Sword, and um, I wanted to announce that uh, Hama, uh, Historical African Martial Arts, is um, as an organization is is um, gaining lots of ground. We have ourselves a, a core um, research group, and we are focusing our attention on um, ancient Egyptian uh, fighting arts, uh, studying the Egyptian iconography to kind of help reconstruct their uh, weapons fighting and their unarmed combat as well. So one of the uh, source materials, one of the living traditions that we're going to be using to help a reconstruction battlefield um, Egyptian art is the stick fighting art of Takti. Um, it's, you know, it's still practiced today and um, it's you know, been used and documented um, on uh, the Egyptian wall paintings and such. So I wanted to show a few movements and kind of follow in on the um, the uh, Following on the example of uh, Nicholas Petro in the UK, who demonstrated a few strikes and cuts. Um, so, with the stick here, the Nabu. So the Naboot, we hope, will help us with um, understanding um, impact weaponry as well as edge weaponry. So uh, we're going to use it to reconstruct uh, spear fighting as well as other, like I said, um, impact weapons and edge impact weapons as well. So right here I have a, um, <coughs> an Egyptian axe I made. It's just a trainer. It may be a little larger than um, what they actually were, but there are... Um, there's evidence on um, some of the wall drawings, wall paintings, of the Egyptians using these two-handed pole axe type weapons. And you can see a lot of my Tahti movements can apply to this axe as well. If I turn to the side, same movement I was doing with the stick, now I can do with this axe. This side. Back to the front. Okay. Like I said, Egyptian axe. Same motions here with the spear. Now, my cuts may be a little smaller, but I can still target the head with my strikes. And of course, using the spear to stab. Once again, throwing the cuts. And here, using the spear. Good. So, in some of the wall reliefs, they show the um, um, a style of Egyptian game called water polo or water jousting. So, what we're doing is using. Um, Tahtib and the evidence from water jousting, which shows um, uh, practitioners on rafts with long, um, I guess they call them punting poles to guide the um, to guide the rafts. So what they do is they work they they as a group they uh, engage other fishermen on their boats and they use these long poles to knock the person into the water. You see all kinds of um, strike to the head, to the body, to the leg. You see these crouching movements. You even see movements where two rafts have crashed together and they're actually in close grappling. You see, you know, big overhead strikes, movements that you'll note that you'll recognize from like Suri uh, stick fighting. So anyways, that's a little bit that we've been working on. Um, thank you guys. If you want some more information about being a part of Hama and following along with our lessons and helping with the research process, please contact me at um, austinwarriorarts at gmail.com. Thank you.